So I just want to uh, take a second and point out the difference between an Israeli bomb and a Palestinian bomb. A pregnant Palestinian mother and her daughter are killed in an Israeli airstrike on Gaza. Israel says it was responding to rocket attacks. A Palestinian woman set off her explosive device after being stopped at a checkpoint in the West Bank. She was seriously wounded. A nearby road officer also received uh, some injuries. Let's show you some of the latest pictures you're looking at right now. It's uh, the first suicide bomb attempt during current tensions in the region. It comes after the Israeli Prime Minister mobilized reserve border police in a move to boost security. And earlier, an Israeli... Dawn in Gaza, a new day of conflict. This is what was left after an Israeli airstrike flattened a house. A pregnant mother died here with her two-year-old daughter. But the difference between, you know, uh, a Palestinian bomb, you know, what they call a bomb, not the Palestinians, the Israelis, and, and all the media everywhere, oh, Israeli bomb, I mean, pa Palestinian bomber at a checkpoint. Give me a break. Do you see this car? Do you see it? There is the wind. The windows aren't blown out. You know, there's no glass broken. Okay. And and what I really find interesting about this car is that in these in these first images, you can see the Israeli forces all over this car, inside, outside, and the car is pretty much completely undamaged. Right? There's nothing wrong with it as far as you can tell from looking at the car. And what probably happened is, you know, the, this image got tweeted around as, you know, suicide bomber attack sets off bomb at checkpoint, right? And people are like, there's not even any broken windows or any damage to that car at all, right? And if you look at it, it doesn't show. But then in these later pictures that show up, oh, you see the front bumpers all falling off and, and but whatever happened in these first pictures, you can see it's already happened. The Israelis are inside, outside the car. They got the trunk open. They got the hood open. They, you know, they've checked it. You know, the the chemical spill around the car. The fire department's already come, and, and whatever it was, or or you know, if they put a, I don't know what they did. If they put a, a a smoke grenade, or they put some kind of incinerary device underneath the car, and that's what made it light up. I don't know, but um, you can see the chemical spill all around the car. So it's not like. Uh, you know, the event hadn't already happened. And the Israelis are in the car, and there's no damage to the car. And then in the later pictures, the most, the newest pictures that we have from the scene, you can see the front end of the car is all falling off, and and uh, and then they show images on the other side of the car, the car being burnt and stuff. But if that's what was happening, you know, if the car was all falling apart, why wasn't it in the first images of the scene? Because the Israelis already clearly had control of the situation, so why isn't it there, right? I really think this is just a complete bullshit story, and it's because of the before and after images. And then there's this, um, this reporter uh, interviewing people on the scene and being told that the lady was having the Palestinian suicide bomber was having car trouble and the Israelis overreacted. Poppy, it could be a dangerous new twist in an already volatile mix. Israeli police say a woman tried to ignite a gas cylinder in her car at a checkpoint on the outskirts of Jerusalem, a potentially dangerous new escalation after a spate of stabbings. But it's not at all clear what actually happened. One eyewitness CNN spoke with said it appeared there was something wrong with the woman's car and that police overreacted. And that's why, and now they had to make up this story so that they have a reason for executing yet another Palestinian woman who is completely no threat whatsoever. You have to check your fear. We have to move beyond fear. We're supposed to be the tippy top pointy tip of the fucking food chain. There isn't anything we need to fear. The only reason you have to fear is because because you don't love each other.
Okay, so anyways, Palestinian bomb. <laughs> bomb. And this is what I'm saying, is that, you know, this guy says Palestinian, I mean, Israelis overreacted. Then they make up this story. They fucking, you can see it in the pictures, that the story's made up. And then, and, and that's what a Palestinian bomb is in Israel. It's a fucking made up story. Okay, I'm not saying that it never happens, but 90% of the time, this is what a Palestinian bomb looks like. As where, this is what an Israeli bomb looks like. A pregnant Palestinian mother and her daughter are killed in an Israeli airstrike on Gaza. Israel says it was responding to rocket attacks. And mothers and two-year-old daughters die when Israel dropped bombs. That doesn't really happen when Palestinians do their bombs. A, a security person was slightly injured. Probably pulling the bumper off, he cut his fucking wrist. <laughs> ah, I love you guys. This is why I'm doing this. Uh, somehow we have to find a way to love each other and come together and end this fucking constant war. We have to. Thank you very much for your continued support. A pregnant Palestinian mother and her daughter are killed in an Israeli airstrike on Gaza. Israel says it was responding to rocket attacks.